Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the top 10 weapons in the Marvel Cinematic Universe till now. So without any further ado, let's start. So the 10th number is Captain America's shield. So this shield is the main weapon of Captain America, which was made by Tony's dad named Howard Stark. So this shield is mainly for basic protection from bullets or attacks. And if this shield is thrown properly at the target, it can hit the target and come back to its owner because of this. This shield needs practice to use it. This shield is almost unbreakable because of the element used in it, which is vibranium. And this shield can only be cracked with a metal stronger than vibranium, which is why in the end game we can see that Thanos can break the shield so it is simple that Thanos may have used an element stronger than the vibranium itself. This shield plays one of the major parts in the Marvel, but it is not more powerful than other weapons. Ninth number is Corvus Glavi's Glaives. So we saw a character named Korav's Glaive in Infinity War, which is made from a stronger metal than vibranium. And this is the same metal that Thanos used to cut Captain America's shield. And that is why this weapon was able to cut the body of Vision, which is made from vibranium and Heimdall was also killed by this weapon and even Corvos also got killed from his weapon. This weapon can also deflect energy blasts. The eighth number is the double-edged sword of Thanos. So we saw this weapon in the Avengers Endgame Thanos used this as a main weapon before, from which he killed a lot of people. We didn't see him using this weapon as much, but when he did, he damaged Avengers severely. This weapon handled Iron Man and Thor power combined. The seventh number is Yaka Arrow. So this arrow was the main and precious weapon to Yondu Udanta, made from a metal named Yaka Metal. This metal is a sound, sensitive metal that reacts to a certain amount of sonic frequency. It needs a person to control this arrow. And if someone can communicate with the arrow with the same frequency, then he can control the direction of the movie. This arrow is not a simple arrow. This arrow can destroy some very hard things and can also kill people and its speed is impeccable. The sixth number is the Casket of Ancient Winters, which is a weapon from the Frost Giants. This weapon can be used to freeze anybody. This weapon can also freeze a whole planet, and it was used by the people of Jotunheim used it to freeze the planets and take control of the planet. This weapon can also kill a frost giant, and because of this weapon, Loki got to know that he is a frost giant, and this weapon has now been destroyed with the Asgard. The fifth number is Cosmi Rod, which is the weapon of Ronan the Accuser, which is also called a universal weapon, and is very powerful. This weapon has good strength, but it can also create a very powerful force field from which it is very easy to kill anybody. And this weapon can also hold very powerful strength, like Power Stone, which is impossible for a normal weapon. After adding the Power Stone to this weapon, then it got even more stronger than before, because then it can create energy blasts and was capable of destroying a whole planet. Number fourth is Mjolnir, which was the main weapon of Thor. This weapon has a good amount of strength in it, but it also refocuses the powers of Thor. This weapon can also fly very fast. The biggest strength of this hammer is the enchantment of worthiness because of which only worthy people can lift it and use it. There are very few people who can handle this weapon, two of them are Hela and Odin. This weapon also has healing powers and cloth generation. This weapon is made from Yuru metal. Number third is Gungir, which is the main weapon of Odin. This weapon is one of the most powerful weapons in the Maku. This weapon was used by Bor before Odin used it, and has the powers of two Asgardians kings. This weapon can do energy blasts and can destroy anyone with its single blast. The destroyer can be controlled by this weapon and this weapon can also open the Bifrost. This weapon also got destroyed by the Asgard. Number second is Stormbreaker, which is the current main weapon of Thor. This weapon was built after his hammer got broken by Hela. This weapon increases Thor's power and projects it very powerfully. This weapon can directly open the Bifrost. Thor can fly because of this, and this weapon can even handle the powers of Infinity Stones. But this weapon doesn't have an enchantment of worthiness on it, because of which every powerful person can lift it. Number first is the Infinity Gauntlet, which was the main weapon of Thanos. This gauntlet is full of six Infinity Stones, and is one of the most powerful weapons in Marvel, which is made to handle all the Infinity Stones and use them to their maximum potential. Almost everything is possible from this gauntlet. By using these gauntlets, Thanos can open the portal into any space. 
He can change reality, can control minds, can blast energy, can time travel, and has the most amount of strength. This weapon is so strong that even after using all the stones and destroying the half population of the earth, even then it was fine and was ready to use it next time. This weapon is way stronger than the nano gauntlet made by Tony Stark because this gauntlet is made from Uro metal. Without this weapon, infinity stones cannot be used separately, but when the stone get combined together, then no weapon is stronger than it, and that is the reason why this weapon is number one. So, these were all the top 10 strongest weapons in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Let me know in the comments if I missed any weapon, and you can also leave your opinions in the comment box. Now, if you like this video, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to never miss an update on the cinema industry. Thanks for watching.